somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. King Thistle is not well. Ooh. <coughs> Daddy, you've blown our cards over. I can't help it, Holly. I'm very ill. You've just got a cold, that's all. Uh, no. It's not just a cold. It feels worse than that. Daddy's a bit grumpy. Daddy's always grumpy when he's ill. Then why don't you use a little fairy magic to make me better? Darling, you know fairy magic can cure everything except the common cold. It's not a common cold. It's something serious and it needs sorting. All right. I'll try a little magic. Abracadabra! Oh, <laughs> now I'm sneezing and I've got a stuffed up nose. Sorry, but I told you magic wouldn't work. Perhaps you should see the elf doctor. Is that the elf doctor? No, the elf doctor. Yes, the king is ill. Yeah, sneezing and a stuffed up nose. I know, but he thinks it's serious. Thank you. Goodbye. You rest in bed, darling, and wait for the doctor. Hmm. The doctor is here. That's just the wise old elf. I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a qualified doctor. Oh, I see. Well, doctor, I am not well. I keep sneezing, my nose is blocked up, and my head aches. I see. Could you open your mouth and stick your tongue out? Ah. Uh... Now look up, look down, and wiggle your feet. Hmm. Now flap your arms like a bird and whistle. <whistles> Interesting. At last. A thorough medical examination by a qualified doctor. What you have is a case of acute viral nasopharyngitis. Aha! You see? It is something bad. Otherwise known as the common cold. Is that all? No. You're grumpy as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, doctor, can you make me better? Uh, let me see what I've got. Ah, this should do the trick. Does it taste bad? Let's just say it doesn't taste good. I'm not having it. Daddy, we all have to have medicine when we're ill. Oh. Hmm, <coughs> 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 that's interesting. <coughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, it does say cough mixture. <coughs> I know a recipe that can cure all kinds of colds, whether they be common or not. Expanding hands, itchy ears, hairy teeth, smelly noses, baldness. Ah, here it is, the common cold. I just need to find the right ingredients. Can we help you, Nanny Plum? Of course. <laughs> uh, Nanny Plum, what's in this medicine of yours? Oh, just blackberry juice, lemon and sugar and a few other things. Nanny, what other things do we need? Let's see. A dewdrop from a spider's web. Ooh. The slime from a slug. Ooh. And un rot de grenouille. What's, What's that? that? Frog burp. Ugh. 
You'll never get Daddy to drink that. <laughs> oh, no. It would be most unfortunate if anyone were to drink this. This is a potion for rubbing on his feet. Ooh! Right. First, we need a dewdrop on a spider's web. Look, a dewdrop. Stop, Holly. It's not a good idea to fly around Madam Spider. Why, Nanny? The flutter of our fairy wings is like a fly. And she likes to eat flies. Eat flies? Oh! Shh! Yes. That's just what spiders do. You like to eat ice cream. Spiders like to eat flies. They have very smelly breath. Uh, excuse me, Madam Spider. Could we possibly collect a dewdrop from your lovely web here? It is to make some medicine for the king. <laughs> Madam Spider says yes. I'll get the dewdrop, Nanny. Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Good. Now we need the slime from a slug. Look, a slug! Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. You might have to shout a little, though, because slugs cannot hear very well. Why is that, Nanny? Because they have no ears. Can't we just take some slime from the ground? You can't go around collecting someone else's slime without asking them first. It's not polite. Hello, Mr Slug. Louder. Hello. Uh, my daddy, the king, isn't well. We need some of your slime to make his medicine. Can we collect some in this jar, please? I think that means yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you ever so much. Well done, Holly. Let's check our list. A dewdrop. Here, Nanny Plum. Slug slime. Here, Nanny Plum. Last of all, we need a frog burp. Hmm, this could be tricky. There's a frog, Nanny. Oh, good morning, Mr Frog. Would you be so good as to burp into this jar, please? Try and relax. That's it. Oh, we haven't got all day. To make babies burp, you rub their backs. OK, I'll rub the frog's back. I can hear something. Hooray! Back to the kitchen. Now, let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. Now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, slime of a slug. Ah, that's going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. Nobody would drink this. That is bad. <gasps> uh, that did taste disgusting. Daddy, you shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. What is it? Silly me. It's not a recipe for cold medicine after all. 
it's a cure for baldness. <gasps> no! But I must say, Your Majesty, long hair really does suit you. <laughs> Nanny Plum, I think my cold has gone. Hooray! Achoo! <coughs> oh, I seem to have caught the king's cold. Oh, poor Nanny Plum. Now I'm going to take personal charge of getting you better. <laughs> can, can we, we help, help too? too? Of course you can. The more the merrier. <laughs> uh, uh, please, that's not necessary, Your Majesty. Oh, but it is. Achoo! Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts in the little forest. The Lost Egg. Magic one up. Abracadabra, abracadu, magic a ball and make it blue. Hmm, maybe not blue. Red. It's a bit small. Shall I make it bigger? It's fine. Come on, let's play. <laughs> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Gaston. <laughs> To you, Ben. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Holly, have you magicked the ball into this? No, that's not our ball. Look. <coughs> so what's this, then? It looks like an egg. I wonder where it came from. There's no trees here. Maybe it flew. Eggs don't fly, Holly. Magic eggs might fly. Hmm. Maybe it's a dragon's egg. Hmm. Gaston, do you know what kind of egg it is? <coughs> I think that means no. Oh. I know. We can ask Nanny Plum. Good idea. Nanny Plum, quick! Oh goodness me! What is it? We found a magic egg. Or a dragon's egg. Come on, we'll show you. Most interesting. An egg. Hmm. Here's the magic egg, Nanny. That's not a magic egg. Is it a dragon's egg? No, it's some sort of bird's egg. Hello. What sort of bird's egg are you? A blackbird. It's a talking egg. No. It's me, the wise old elf. Oh, hello. Good day, Mistress Plum. 
As I was saying, it is a blackbird's egg and there's a baby chick inside. How do you know? You can hear it tapping. Listen. Ooh, exciting. Nanny, can we look after it? You must never collect the eggs of wild birds. The place for an egg is with the mummy bird. Wise words, Mistress Plum. But the mummy bird's not here. Then we must find her. Oh, oh, oh. I know. Gaston can follow the egg's trail and find the mummy. <laughs> Clever Gaston. <laughs> Gaston's good at smelling things. Oh. oh! I don't think the ladybird can follow the trail through water. Now we can't find the egg's mummy. So what can we do, Nanny? If the mummy were here, she would build a nest and sit on the egg to keep it warm. <laughs> Please, can I sit on it? Your bottom is too small. We need a bigger bottom. Hello, everybody. Hello, King Thistle. Daddy, can you help us? Help you with what? Your Majesty, if you could sit on this egg until we build a nest, that would be most kind. Very well. Daddy looks a bit silly. <laughs> I don't look silly, do I? No, Daddy. <laughs> I say, this is jolly uncomfortable. You won't be long, will you? We'll be as quick as we can. We just need to build a nest. I know. Elves can pick up sticks. Fairies can pick up soft things. OK. We'll collect these sticks. We'll collect thistledown. Ooh, thistledown is very soft. There. And now, the magic words. Sticks, moss and thistle down Make me a nest all cosy and round Lovely! Can I get off now? Of course, Your Majesty Look, there's a crack! Oh, Daddy, you've broken the egg No, the egg is cracking on its own is hatching. Ooh. Oh, it's a little chick. Aww. Good. Now the mummy will hear the chick call and come to collect it, and I can get back to my work. Look, the chick is following Nanny Plum. Usually, the first thing a chick sees is its mummy. And this chick saw Nanny first. So it thinks Nanny is its mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a mummy bird. The chick is hungry. Mummy bird must give it food. I haven't got any food. What do birds eat? Worms and insects. Uh, Gaston is an insect. Gaston? Maybe you should stand back a bit. We need to find some worms. How? With worm charming. Like this. The worms think it is raining and come up to breathe. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a worm! Got away! Oh, come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> There's another one. Oh. I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp louder. Of course. Zigzag, zig, make it big. Oh, no, Nanny. I 
think you've got the spell wrong. The chick is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry. The spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute. Or a week. Or... Chick says thank you very much and bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Nanny, I'm hungry. Me too. And me. How about some juicy worms? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Elf Games. Ben, where are you? Oh, hi, Ben. Can I play too? I'm not playing. I'm training. It looks like playing to me. Well, it's not. I'm getting ready for the elf games. That sounds fun. Can I play some elf games? The elf games are not fun. They're very serious. Now, I need to practice my lifting. Ugh, this acorn's really heavy. I can do that. Abracadabra. Easy peasy. <laughs> you used magic. We don't have magic at the elf games. Oh. So what do you have? We have jumping. Hoopla! I can do that. Hoopla! <laughs> we don't have flying either. The games are not for fairies, just for elves. That's not fair. Fairies can do lots of things without flying or magic. Like what? I can dance like a ballerina. <laughs> OK, but we don't have dancing at the elf games. Dancing's not the only thing I can do. Look, I'm good at gymnastics. And I'm really good at looking pretty. We don't have dancing, gymnastics, or looking pretty at the elf games. Why not? We're elves. <coughs> we have serious things like jumping, running, and Princess Holly. Time for your lessons. Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. Ben's going to be in the elf games. Can we go too? Won't it be boring for you, Princess Holly? Watching a lot of sweaty little elves running about. We don't just run, we jump and we lift things. Look, I won this trophy for the high jump last year. Wow. If you really want a trophy, you can have one. Abracazoo, abracazap, for Princess Holly a fancy cup. Yippee! I've won a trophy. You can't just magic up a trophy. You have to work for it. I did work for it. I didn't get this good at doing spells without lots of practice. Well, I've got to go and practice my running and jumping. Good luck, Ben. Bye, Holly. 
See you later. Welcome to the Elf Games. Please remember the Elf rules. No cheating and no... Excuse us, please. Fairy Princess coming through. Carry on, Mr Old Elf. Ah, good day, Mistress Plum. Hi there. For the benefit of the <coughs> fairies amongst us, may I remind you there is to be strictly no magic and absolutely no flying. Dear me, I was right. This is going to be boring. Now to our first event, running. Look, there's Ben. On your marks, get set, Go! Come on, faster! Ben! Come on, Ben! Oh, Ben can't hear me. We'll soon sort that out. May I? Thank you. Try this, Princess Holly. I've got very sensitive ears. Sorry, wise old elf! <laughs> Barnaby Elf is the winner. Hooray! I know. Ben's come last. Oh, dear. Elves can be very touchy about this sort of thing. What did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. Maybe there's some other little game you can have a go at. Will all competitors please get ready for the next event? The high jump. You're very good at jumping, Ben. You'll easily win. I hope so. I hope so too. There's nothing worse than a grumpy elf. The first competitor is Lizzie Elf. Hooray! Now, for last year's high jump champion, Ben Elf. Good luck, Ben. Yes, you can do it. Hoopla! Hooray! Phew, I didn't think he was going to do it. Another excellent jump. Now, for our final competitor, Barnaby Elf. Bad luck, Barnaby. We're down to the last two for the high jump trophy. I hope Ben doesn't knock the pole off. As long as they don't put it up any higher, I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, dear. Lizzie... Elf. Come on, Lizzie, jump high! <gasps> now, Ben Elf. If he loses, he's going to be really upset. Don't worry. We'll give him a little bit of magical help. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed. Relax. No one will notice. Are you sure no one will notice, Nanny? Trust me. Hooray! Well, well done, done ben. ben! You see? I told you no one would notice. Someone has been using magic. He knows. OK, but he doesn't know it was me. Mistress Plum. Um, hello. I'll take that wand, if you please. And Ben Elf, you are disqualified from the high jump. But that's not fair. The rule book clearly says magic is not allowed at the Elf Games. But it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. 
We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the wheelbarrow race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No, you've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben, I know I'll be good at it. What is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, well, the rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks! Get set, go! We won! Goodness me! The winners are Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Thanks, Holly. No problem, Ben. Who'd have thought a fairy could win the wheelbarrow race? And I can do this. Ooh. Gracious me, what was that? Dancing, gymnastics and looking pretty. Very good. At the next Elf Games, we shall have dancing and gymnastics. Looking pretty. Yes, and looking pretty. Yay! Baby Princess Holly can teach us how to do it. <laughs> yes, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh.